nature beat the crap out of us today. This is brutal. I don't know if the camera will pick this up, but we're all <laughs> scratched <laughs> up. <laughs> oh, look how close he is. Hey, it's Steve and Jenny, and we have a story for you. But before we get into that, go ahead and like and subscribe so you don't miss anything. And thank you to those who are following us. We love your comments. That's right. And go check out our merch at Trip and Dive Shop if you want to support the channel. So this story, it was a lot of fun actually doing it. This is, video is going to be two parts. First part is I went on a trip with a couple of my buddies, a few of my buddies went canyoneering. So we've been hiking. We got to hike a little ways to get to Devil's Canyon. This has been a beautiful hike so far. Good thing is I'm not toting around my scuba tank. So it's kind of nice just having my my day pack on here. This is an awesome canyon. I'm looking forward to getting into the repelling. Best ways through. <laughs> I brought my GoPro along. We're going to have some fun. This was a beautiful canyon in Arizona. It's called Devil's Canyon. And you, you hike down through this canyon, just beautiful red cliffs, and then you get down through here, and then there's five beautiful pools. All right, we have made it to the first pool. Woo! Cool. It's a pretty color. Well done, Jaren. Gonna gear up. Let's do it. There's a series of five pools here that we're gonna recall down through and drop in. You guys ready for this? Yeah, ready as we ever do. Ready. All right. We're debating if we're gonna repel down here or jump. It's not that big of a fall. It's probably just about 15, 20 feet at the most. I think most of us are gonna jump. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, I gotta get my glove. Just the reaction because we're next. Here we go. And I decided to do an aerial. He's a big show off. Yeah, and I was a little <laughs> worried about the mount on my helmet. And so I held on to the GoPro while it was mounted. And that was probably what caused it to fall off. Mm -hmm. I hit the water, I felt my hand just grab my GoPro and pull it off of my helmet. Yeah. And it just slipped out. And I was so mad. I, I, I saw it drop and it just goes down. And the water was pretty cold. This was this was March time frame. It was just coming through the spring. And I had a wetsuit on. I didn't have any weights. I didn't have any fins. I was grabbing rocks, trying to get down. But the, it was hard for me to hold my breath because of the colder water yeah. and the wetsuit. And anyways. A couple of the other guys tried to dive down. We lost. It was it. a sad day for Steve. Couple weeks later, yep. was it a couple weeks later? Week later. We grabbed our friend Nora, Nora's vet. Go ch follow her channel if you don't. That's right. So we decided to pack up some scuba gear and the three of us went down Devil's Canyon. We got the crew together, Nora's with us. We are going to do the two mile hike again. <laughs> Boulder hopping, bushwhacking with a tank on. <laughs> And we are going to find my GoPro. And you know what? I bet you there's gonna be a lot of other things in there too. Nora, what do you wanna find? I wanna find an Apple Watch, mm. another GoPro, and maybe a ring. Ooh. There you go. <laughs> what about you, Jenny? Oh, I just, I'll be so happy if you can find your GoPro. Yes. But if I could find a phone or 
Yeah, I bet I bet there's got to be there's got to be another GoPro down there. There's at least glasses. Um uh, my buddy Jaron lost his glasses down here too and I lost my GoPro. So Oh yeah, sunglasses. We're going to at least find two things. <laughs> and uh yeah, anyways. Mm. Anyways. Anyways, anyway. you know, we saw that GoPro, our footage from last that, week. That's what I was going to say. My <laughs> second rookie mistake was I wasn't going to bring the GoPro because we were just having fun. And I brought it to the last minute. And so I didn't clean off the footage that I had with Nora in our last dive. And so I was like, ah, yep. got to get it. So <laughs> we're going to get it. So this will get two videos out of it. <laughs> the footage that I lost from that video and this video. <laughs> we got to find that thing. So wish us luck. We're going to treacher out here in this two mile treacher. hike. Treacher. <laughs> in the treacherous hike. <laughs> so, in the treacherous drive. That's yes. right. It's going to be an adventure. This is an Arizona adventure. Mm. Nora, this is going to be a great mm. Arizona adventure I for you. I can't wait. I can't. I've never been canyoning. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here we go. So I decided I would carry his gear and he could carry his tank. And Nora carried her tank. And she had the um, yeah, her metal, detector. metal detector. Oh yeah, I carried that too. So we started out on this hike and about 30 minutes in, Nora realized she forgot her water in the car. <laughs> in Arizona, on a hike. Yeah. So then, and this is supposed to be two miles, and this is not just a hike. This is climbing over boulders. Yeah. Like we had to take off our packs, hand them down to the person below. Like we were going at a very, very slow pace. And it's like trailblazing. There's really not a trail. No. You're getting down to the creek and then you're following it. So there's like bushes everywhere. Oh. Poison ivy. Mm -hmm. Poor Nora. Yep. yep. Sorry, Nora. <laughs> But we, we were going through bushes, I mean, getting scratched up. Luckily, we had long sleeves. I don't think Nora had long sleeves. So she totally got poison ivy. It was, it was a really bad day. Wow. I don't know where Steve's taking us. <laughs> <laughs> we'll blame it on Steve. What? We'll blame it on Steve. And all in all, we got down probably a mile and a half. Mm -hmm. We were close. And we we realized that we had to turn around because the time that we had set to get out of the water, we hadn't even gotten yeah. to the water yet. So we had to like make a really, really hard decision. It was it was and a tough decision. Turn around. Yeah, so we, we stopped for a little bit. Nora started panning for gold. She was looking for gold in, right. in the river. Yeah. I started taking some drone footage. And yeah. we, we made the decision. We're just like, you know what, it's if not we're gonna safe. get out of here before dark, because Coming out, you go into three different canyons, Devil's Canyon, Oak Canyon, and then I can't remember the first one's called, but that last turn, it's kind of hard to see. Yeah, and if, if you it was in the it. dark, I didn't want to get stuck because I was the guide. <laughs> I didn't want to get these two ladies hurt. Pulled the safe card on this one. It was just, it was pretty hot the amount of water we had, so we just wanted to be safe. So we're going to head out and live to uh, find stuff another day. Exactly. Sorry we weren't able to get all the way down to the pools, but sometimes that happens. Yeah, you know, safe. you got to roll with it, but I'm going to try and help Nora out a little bit. We took some of her weights off. Oh my God, thank you so much. I gave him got two, on my four, weight. six. I gave him eight pounds for eight my pounds. belt. I don't know how he's going to carry it, but he's the it's going to help me for sure. I'm the pack horse. That's that's <laughs> yeah. why they let me come. The mule. That's, <laughs> the pack mule it's the only reason why I'm part of Trip and Dive. So I can pack so it in, pack it stuff. out. Lessons learned, Jenny. Now risking my book. Lessons learned. Hmm. Don't go more than one mile with a tank on your back. That's one. <laughs> and bring more water. Maybe get a second opinion than what your guide's telling you about the hike. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Oh, that's okay. I did it with just a camel back and it just it zipped through here last week, but man. Yeah. And that extra 30 pounds, 40 pounds, does it? It really does. Yeah, it does. <laughs> Troopers. Bet we are. We're Nature beat the crap out of us today. <sighs> this is brutal. I don't know if the camera will pick this up, but we're all <laughs> scratched up. <laughs> 
we're dying. Yeah. Our legs are on fire. Yeah. We're just about home. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure I lost at least 20 pounds in sweat. Oh, definitely. That's probably true. It was a very good decision to turn around when we did. Seriously. If we would have finished, we would have been coming out in the dark. I did not want to be yeah. in the dark. So. It's about twilight. The sun is just going over the mountain, so I think we're getting a good time. We'll get out of here. Yeah. But, oh my gosh. We're going to need to do some stretches when we get back. <laughs> All righty. Is this so so somehow we made it back unharmed. <laughs> That's the worst hike. Speak for yourself. I've unharmed. ever been. Okay, we were maimed. We were Im impaled, maybe. At but least a few times. like nothing serious. Hopefully, <laughs> ask us tomorrow. So it took us four hours and twenty-five-ish minutes to get back out from where we turned around. So that was a good choice that we turned around because we did run out of water last mile. I feel like the last mile we didn't have water. Yeah. And luckily we had some water in the car that we are now guzzling. Now, <laughs> Steve owes us dinner. Big dinner. So Steve, where are you going to take us? Where'd you go? Where is he? Did he go on? He's gone. Where did he even leave? Don't worry. <laughs> All right, well, Steve owes us dinner and dessert. And what else, Nora? Um, hmm. Gift cards to a massage. Cards to massage, yes. <laughs> he owes me a jacuzzi, a massage chair, a foot rub. And a foot rub. <laughs> oh, we're so happy we made it back to the car. Oh. Nora, you made it. Made it, barely. So it was an adventure to remember, and I'm sure Nora will never forget and maybe never forgive us, but I mean, we're <laughs> still friends. We're still friends. We love you, Nora. So carrying it on, I, we couldn't get out there for, it was about three weeks, and then monsoon stuff started. It, it was actually oh, a really wet it summer. It was a very wet summer. It rained and rained and rained. So I'm Flash like, your, floods, your GoPro is going to be like, buried, because no this way. is just runoff from the canyon. Yeah. There's no way you're going to get that. We just, we couldn't get out there in all that rain. <laughs> Remember when you asked me, you're like, hey, we're going to go again. He's going to have his brother and his <laughs> son and a friend. He's like, you want to go? I'm like, hmm, no, I don't know if I ever want to go into Devil's Canyon again. It's yeah. called Devil's Canyon for a reason. So we finally got the group together. Like she said, my brother Lance, his son Dawson, and Dublin, his friend. And Dublin and Dawson were awesome. They are yes. carrying my stuff for me. Yeah. So I just had a smaller we're tank that I was carrying pretty easy. <laughs> we all shared the load. But Eight months later, we finally got out there, and you're gonna have to see how I actually found it. It was pretty cool. Yeah, from there. So, so part two is gonna be me going out there with Lance Dawson in Dublin. We're gonna head down there for one last final attempt. <laughs> I just said this is it. I'm, I'm not coming to this canyon again. Looking for it, I may come again do some canyoneering, but this was the attempt. So we set out, and you'll have to see how we found it. Yeah.